to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. Oh, you bet against Tom Brady yesterday. <laughs> Hit the button. Congratulations. Yo. You played yourself. Rasan, the cameraman, among others, is calling uh, for a congratulations. This is not me. I didn't watch the game, but this is from Rasan saying that the NFL put in the obvious fix. Was it obvious? To get Tom Brady his seventh Super Bowl. Mm. So we doing this for Rasan. Here you go, Rasan. It's for you. Congratulations. <laughs> to the NFL. <laughs> and, now, and, I just get, and I want to send it right back to Rasan and anyone else. Perfect. That thought the NFL was going to allow this man to show up in another, in his 10th Super Bowl. And he wasn't going to walk away with the trophy? You congratulations. Play. You played oh. yourself. All right. I'll, then I will take the congratulations and give it to all of you who think that the game was fixed. If if a team doesn't show up and just gets whooped, I don't know what kind of fixed job you think has to be done, but every player has well, to be they, in on it. They made sure that the Chiefs didn't have the proper O-line. The Chiefs receivers wow. had to participate in dropping the ball. Oh, it's, it's a, then, it's you like, throw it's, in, then you throw in the refs with the bad calls. They all get kickbacks at the end of the day. They come home, they still going to get that money. They did the right thing. So this is a big, big conspiracy theory. Oh, that's right. And damn, so the lady, so the woman who was the first woman to ever ref in a Super Bowl game and everyone was celebrating her, hold up, stop the celebration. She was actually taking money. That's, if they were like, what? yo, if you want to come back out here next year, you better take this money and give Tom Brady the Super Bowl. You make these calls the right way. You know what to do. Yo, listen, the, the, Chiefs, <laughs> the Chiefs had no offensive line. They're, no one could catch the football. The game was trash. Give me the button for watching the whole thing. Congratulations. <laughs> you wow. played yourself. I should have turned it off after wow. the third quarter, for sure. What was wow. the score at halftime? It was, I think, 14 at halftime or 15. 21-6. Something <laughs> like that. But no, but like, yo, but 21 6 in a Chiefs game is nothing. Yeah, Chiefs can make that up in five minutes. That's not even, I didn't even, I wasn't even worried. I was like, oh, they could, they could win it by the third quarter. Oh, wait, after. you bet against Tom Brady? Congratulations. I didn't bet. You played oh, yourself. I didn't bet. No, no. I, I was, I, I chilled. I picked the Chiefs, but I was, uh, I, I'm not throwing money against Brady. You're the man not has crazy. seven Super Bowls. You're not the man crazy. just passed MJ for title, for championship. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yo, Laura, what you got up there? I guess everyone that I know that I was watching on IG stories and people who flew down for the Super Bowl spreader events, I, I just can't, guys. And maybe, because now I'm like, do I give it to myself for for being surprised? People do not know yeah, what it is to just stay so. your ass home. I think so. And as, as soon as I was watching all these parties, everyone all sweaty, maskless, like all of a sudden everything is gone and, you know, partying it up. I just kept going, oh, my God, Rona, 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 Rona. But then, it's, you know, maybe I give it to myself for caring too much and having and, and understanding that people just don't care. It's Florida, I guess. But I'm talking about the people who flew, who left their homes to go over there for all of this. this I just party. Congratulations. Party. You played yourself. Give it to me. Give it to them. Jeez. Well, um, I don't know, if Rosenberg, if you have anything left, but I want to give a congratulations. You played yourself to the... NYPD yet again. What happened? Who over the weekend, uh, one of their officers uh, by the name of Dana M. Martillo. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Uh, she she wore a patch that said Trump make enforcement great again uh, while uh, having the Punisher. She has a little Punisher badge on her um, on her uniform, which represents the three percent nation. Well, of American that. Patriots. You guys may want to look that up. And that is, she wore this on her NYPD mm -hmm. uniform. Now, did the NYPD respond quickly? Yes. They said, we're aware of this person. She's been suspended or she's been, we're going to discipline her or something like that. You guys, I had to congratulate the whole NYPD because there's definitely officers who have reached out to me on the side and they say, listen, I'm not a high-ranking officer, but there's a lot of this going on in NYPD. I've addressed it on the air with the commissioner, Shea, who, you know, um, claims he doesn't know much about it, but, you know, is going to try to manage it. People are just dancing around the white supremacist issue within police forces. And this is across the nation. 
And it, and as you know, it goes all the way through teachers and fire department and doctors, lawyers, bankers. It's, it's riddled throughout our society. But everybody just wants to dance around and think that just disciplining people, slapping them on the wrist is going to change this. And for you, I give you this. Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs>